Hey guys, one of my favorite things to play with is slime. But I've always wondered, are you a solid or a liquid? I know who would know, my rice squad. Anybody there? Oh, hey Ryan, and good to see you. Did you need something? So I'm wondering if slime is a solid or a liquid. Oh, that reminds me of a time that Dr. Ion saved the day by making some slime! Come on, we've got to get their flag! According to my calculations, it has to be hidden near the bushes. Oh, greetings all! We were just playing capture the flag! And if we don't find it quick, the other team's gonna find ours! According to my calculations, we should all bunch together on that X over there. Uh, kinda a weird idea, Peck. But if you say so... What? I didn't say that! Hey! What the...? Gustav! I should have known you were up to your tricks! Well, let us out of here, Gustav! <laughs> I'll only let you free if you give me what I seek. What do you want? I sure hope it's not gummies! I want you to make me... Something that acts like a liquid and a solid. <laughs> what? That's impossible! Liquids take the shape of their containers! Yeah, and solids keep their size and shape no matter what container they're in! I guess you'll have to think outside the box. Or should I say, cage? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Mama says I've gotta be home before dark! Hmm... Gustav wants a substance that acts like both a liquid and a solid. Oh, wait! I've got it! Slime! And I know just a doctor who can make it for us! Dr. Ion! Hey! You've got to help us with an experiment! We need to create slime! Well, who we asked just the right person? For this next experiment, I'm going to need glue, water, baking soda, shaving cream, food coloring, and contact solution. <laughs> ah, all right, well, now that we have everything, let's begin. But first, if you're doing this experiment at home, make sure there's an adult around to help you out. Gotta put on my safety gloves, and also our safety goggles. Perfect, let's begin. First things first, we're gonna add 2 thirds cup of glue to our bowl. Make sure you get all of it. Just like that. Then we mix in a quarter cup of water and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now here's where things get a little messy. Next, we're gonna add three cups of shaving cream. Look how fluffy it is. Next, we'll mix away. Notice how I'm agitating this mixture. This allows some of the bonds to form. Woo! Science is a workout. Now for my favorite part. Color. My favorite color, red. Whoa! Look how the red is diffusing. It's spreading and it's all becoming more red. Now it's time for our most important ingredient. Contact lens solution also known as saline solution. Make sure your parents check that there are two important ingredients in the saline solution, boric acid and sodium borate. These two important ingredients will help bind with our glue and make our slime. Add a tablespoon of the contact solution. Next, mix. Now is a great time to dance. If your slime still feels a little too liquidy, you can try adding another half tablespoon of saline solution. It should be ready any minute now. <laughs> I think we're almost there, y'all. Look how stretchy it is. Whoa! Experiment tactic, we did it! We made slime. Pretty cool, huh? It's fun, it's stretchy, it's... Uh, 
bouncy, it's easy to make, and most important of all, it actually teaches us about science. <laughs> I bet you noticed, slime kind of acts like a liquid, but it also acts like a solid. So, which is it? Well, it is a liquid, but not the type of liquid like water or juice. It's what we scientists call a non-Newtonian fluid. Non-Newtonian fluids are liquids that act like solids when you push against them. Other non-Newtonian fluids include honey, toothpaste, and even ketchup. Just like the solid ball, my slime will bounce after it's dropped. And it still gloops apart just like a liquid. So how does it work? Just like water and other liquids, slime will flow downwards and even take the shape of a container that it sits in. Only slime moves much slower than water. See? Whoa, so fast. So slow. So how is it possible for a fluid to act like a liquid in a solid? To answer, let's get microscopic. If we break slime down into its basic parts, we see that it's made up of four building blocks, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and boron. The water that we added is made up of oxygen and hydrogen, the glue has carbon in it, and the saline solution has boron in it. Cool, right? I'm so glad you stopped by. Together, we learned a lot. We learned that slime is kind of weird, but really fun, and that it's a liquid, but acts like a solid. And this happens because of the links that are formed when our special ingredients come together in just the right way. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I guess I should probably uh, clean up this mess now, huh? Unless one of my helpers wants to do it for me. Fine, I'll clean it up. <sighs> and that's how you make slime. I hope to help you in time. Oh wait, that rhymed. Spectacular! <laughs> Send that slime over, Dr. Ion! All right, Gustav, here's your slime. Excellent. <laughs> Huh? Sticky? How do you like being trapped, Gustav? Free me this instant! Only if you promise to not trap anyone ever again! <sighs> Fine. I promise. Well, that's better. Today we learned about a substance called slime to how it acts different some of the time. It can act like a liquid, all flowing around. But sure feels like a solid when you give it a pound! This is because of the ingredients all mixed inside. They make its connection sort of loosely glide. It's fine to bounce and roll and to press on, and it's sticky enough to teach Gustav a lesson! Thanks for watching, everyone! We'll see you next time! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>